Hey, it's Jean Leggett from One More Story Games, and we're going to get started with Story Stylus. And as you can see, this is the web domain, onemorestorygames.com slash authoring, capital A. And currently, you need to open that in Firefox for it to download. You're going to come up with this window. Click here to install on desktop, which I've already done. So I've already downloaded onto my desktop and logged in. And as you can see, I've got two projects in here, Search for the Perfect Dumpling and the Second Dumpling. Here are your basic navigation buttons. We've got Refresh the Project List, Create a New Project, Edit Project, Delete the Project. And that's pretty straightforward, but let's just go ahead and create a new one. So we are, we can only create story. If we were administration, then we could actually create a time period and a setting. So we're gonna call the third dumpling. And we're gonna set it in our custom city because we don't have a template for Vancouver, which is where the story is set. So go ahead, click done, and you will see that the list will then refresh. There's the third dumpling. So that's how easy it is to just begin that. I'm going to go into the search for the perfect dumpling. It has more information because I've started this a little while ago. All right, so we have all these really fantastic tabs that break down the elements of the story. And the story info tab has your title, where it's set, the starting location. I've already set the starting location in locations. We'll go over that in a separate video and um, what the theme is. So as we move forward, we're going to have multiple themes for you to choose from minimum number of players, maximum number of players, multiplayer is coming down the road. And this information that you see at the top part of the screen here, that's actually the information that people see when they're in the store. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. And here is my introduction that I had typed. Now the introduction can actually vary according to the player character that people have chosen going into the story. And we're going to get into that in some of the advanced features. So hold on. We have story entities over here. These are all the things that I've already entered into the search for the perfect dumpling story. And this is introductory information that I have, I want to make available for players when they see when they first go in. We also have languages. You can create a version of your story in multiple different languages, and it will even swap out the graphics and the media, the music, all of that for you. In publishing, you can add tags that allows people to sort through in the store. In the controls, you can hide certain buttons that you don't want players to see. So for example, if, you're, if your story doesn't take place in multiple neighborhoods, then you can hide those things. Uh, you can hide the maps over here, or if you don't have any inventory or taking buttons, you can hide them there. And then finally, for social links, this is specific to the story. There are author pages on the website, but this is if you have a, if you're doing like a prequel to a novel that's already out, you'll wanna put the link to the Amazon page here, or your Facebook link, or your Goodreads link. So you've got the, the gist of that one. So let me just show you what it looks like in the store. So now you can see the beginning of the search for the perfect dumpling. It is, here's the blurb that I started, wa started with. And if I click on play story, um, only I can see the base case because I'm the creator of that story. So I'm gonna click on new game. And I actually have a specific avatar that you have to play, which is me, otherwise known as Jamie Awesome. And when I load it up, you're gonna see the briefing screen. And this is the information that you saw on that very first page of Story Stylus. Do -do -do -do. Bing. There we go. Dark and stormy night. So here's that introduction. And here's the chapter heading. Here's the starting information that you saw in Story Stylus. So, hey girl, you gotta take a nap. Um, Got to have some Ryan Gosling in there, dreaming of dumpling dreaming. So that is the beginning of Story Stylus, and we're going to go into our next video where you can talk about uploading graphics and assigning them and getting your location started. Thanks for listening.